Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Dunk A Ruse review. Uh, this is, I think, my first food review video. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the Dunk A Ruse. I will warn everybody this package is not sealed, so it's possible that um, it was poisoned at the 7 Eleven where I purchased it. Hopefully, that's not the case, though, uh, as we, we, we dunk right into these Dunk A Ruse. Uh, I've never had a Dunk A Ruse before. Uh, I, I know that they're a cornerstone of many people's nostalgia but I was more of a like peanut butter cracker person because I've had those peanut butter crackers I am a little worried because oh oh good it contains soy we're fine all right so we're gonna have a Dunkaroo now if you've never seen Dunkaroos you see it comes in this little container of cookies with far too many cookies mind you I had one cookie earlier to test them and it, they were I did not like them so and that as you see the cream with as advertised here sprinkles they put rainbow sprinkles in the cream in order to improve the flavor I think so without further ado let's dunk right into it with the Dunkaroo I think and you see here we got put that up for the camera there you see that's a Dunkaroo cookie with some cream on it going in the old chopper So, um, if you haven't had a Dunkaroo in a long time and you remember them fondly from childhood, I will say if your palate is aged at all, I, I would tell you that these are clawingly sweet. But um, one of the things that I think is, is, is the most remarkably atrocious about this to me is, is, is the consistency of the Dunkin' cream, as I call it. Um, it's more of a paste, to be honest with you. I mean, I have some of it on my fingers here, and it just, you can feel the individual textures of sand that they put into this to thicken it out. If you don't know, they put sand into most food products to thicken it out. Um, I think it's on the ingredients list. Let's see, does it have sand on here? Must have forgot to put it in. But that's, that's all right. So let's go in for a second cookie here, because if the first one wasn't good, the second one would be better. You actually, thinking about it here, I'm going to clean it, clean off my mistake here. I'm going to have just the cookie on its own here, so we can have a, a little bit of a non-biased cookie comparison. So the cookie on its own is not bad. It's still very sweet. If you guys can't tell, I quite like it. The cookies has an embossed D on it for, um, for Democrat, which is cool. They're supporting the Democratic Party. I tried to color match, so I wore a blue shirt today with, to go with the blue Dunkaroos. We're going in for another Dunkaroo. I don't know. If, maybe I'm putting too much cream on. Maybe that's the issue because there are a lot of cookies and not very much cream. So perhaps I'm overloading. So this time, you see, since last time I had a slightly overloaded cracker with cream, so this is just going to be a normal one. We'll try this. Okay. I would say definitely go light on the cream if you're not able to handle that sugar. And I will say my blood sugar is already going off the rails. Um, I may f fall into some sort of a coma during this video due to that sugar. We do not know. Uh, so now let's do the post-cookie the post review. What are my post-cookie thoughts? Overall, I think that the Dunkaroo uh, is probably great if you're a, a, a child with, with, with child taste buds and, and, and an absolute uh, love for sugar. But... After a certain point, they just become far too cl uh, far too cloyingly sweet uh, for my taste. So that's a, that's a, that's a, that's zero Dunkaroos out of out of twelve. Thanks everybody for watching. This has been the Dunkaroo review. Bye bye.